minute. Oh, good morning. Hey, I was wondering, did I leave a lipstick here last night? Oh, I did find one in the bathroom. It wasn't Dev's colour. <laughs> Would you like some scrambled eggs? Oh, I'm okay, thanks. Oh. Salt and protein might help with the old wine head. We got through quite a few bottles last night. I didn't really drink a lot. You're looking a little bit peaky, if you don't mind me saying so. I didn't really get a lot of sleep last night. Can we just get the lipstick, please? Oh. Of course. Good morning. Thank you. Morning. Can I smell eggs? You certainly can, and the coffee's on. Right. Oh, I have some um, leftover crab stick croquettes. <laughs> I was going to bring them round later. I know how much Jude likes them. Right, thanks. Um, bye then. When am I going to see my grandson again? Uh, soon, I'm sure. Well, I'm always here and always happy. <laughs> hey, why does that woman hate me so much? Mary. She's implying I've got a drink problem. Oh, look, if you mean her going on about Peter last night, that's just her, you know, she don't mean any harm. No, it's not just that. Everything she says, it's like she's hinting that I'm a bad mother. Are you sure you're not being oversensitive? I'm not imagining things. I'm in my right mind. Just about. <sighs> Sorry, I barely slept. Do you fancy lunch? It's nine in the morning. Oh, I didn't mean now. See? Fried brain. So happen you've got your baby up four times a night. I'd rather not just call my own miss. What do you mean? Guessing you're the one who should be apologising. Me? I'll just make up by the time I get home. I won't look good for social services. Latest. See? And she knows we're toxic for each other. Don't start this again, all right? She's right. You should be apologising. I'm not the one who beat up Peter Barlow and then confessed like an idiot. It was an emotional reaction and then I regretted it. Honesty. You should give it a go sometime. You know, this is Aiden talking, Billy. He's played you. Sometimes I wonder whether it's you that's played me. Washing machine, aren't we? Yeah. Oh, come on, mate. Just eat a little bit. Would you like something else, eh? We've got cereal, porridge. Cover Jesus' eyes! It's all I've got clean. We need a new washing machine today. Fine. I'll see if Tyrone knows of any second hand ones. Second hand? What happened to all that compensation money? It's in an account for my son. Well, what about the rest of your family? You're not the family. I didn't mean just me. A, a second hand one is fine. Has he eaten out yet? I told you to keep your nose out where Joseph's concerned. All right! I'll get him to eat today. Don't worry. Oh, don't stuff him full of sweets. As if she would. And don't take any advice from her. Uh, I know how to raise kids. Just ask my Craigie. Actually, don't ask him. But I definitely do. <sighs> he needs to learn some flaming respect. Yeah, well, you're not helping Auntie Beth. <sighs> Ty, you don't know any used washing machines going back in, do you? Yeah, actually, I do, yeah. It's not dead Uncle Frank's, though, is it? Who? No, 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 it's not his, no. I feel a bit funny about that. Yeah. No, it's a, a bloke on Tile Street that I did some clearance for. You know, it's a bargain. Problem is, you'll have to collect it and fit it yourself. Oh, it's no worries. Is this yours? Yep. For today, anyway. Hey, you couldn't drive me over this afternoon and give us an hand. I'll pay you. Don't be daft. Yeah, if you can do lunchtime, we'll do it then. Right. Cheers, mate. All right. I'm sorry, Delilah. This is making me do it. Don't take it personally, eh? Oh, he's so gorgeous. You wouldn't say that if he'd kept you up half the night. I would. Matthew Singh. What does he want? He's interested in buying the factory. Why well, he's got the money, if not the charm. A bit of a cheat. 
considering that he tried to undercut me. Hey, a buyer's a buyer. We'll see you'll be all right with that. So long as we sell the place, I don't care. Hey, but don't go getting any macho ideas. One black eye is enough, thank you. Hello, my little man. You sure you don't mind? Oh, I'm always delighted to look after my grandson. I'm just a little surprised, that's all. Well, Angie's having a rest. And she's meeting Toya at the bistro for lunch. I don't want to interrupt. I just need a break. Well, I'm always happy to step in. <laughs> oh, and rest assured, I will not deviate from his routine this time. Well, thanks. Should only be a couple of hours. What's the job interview? Full-time post at the university. I was on the reserve list, but someone dropped out, so... Oh, it'll be wonderful to have you here permanently. Fingers crossed. <laughs> All right, monster. Be good for Nana. <laughs> now, my little dumpling, what shall we do? How about, how about, a Nana's dancing knees? We love that, don't we? <laughs> Irish peasant legs, Mother used to say, and finally they could be put to good use. <laughs> Cheers, Mum. Bye. Mum's the word. And eat salad in the medical centre. An example must be set. Where are you going to eat this? Oh. Gone for a get mm -hmm. Well, we recommended us to some friends who need some wills drawn up. Whoop de do. Listen, I know it's not a big animal, but it's a start. We need all the work we can get. <sighs> That's me. Hmm? You made a will. Why do I look like I'm about to drop dead? <laughs> <laughs> you look as fit as a fiddle, but you don't know what's around the corner, do you? We offer a comprehensive and very reasonably priced service. Thank you. But I already have a will drawn up by a very reliable and trustworthy lawyer. Worth a shot. Hey, 12.45 at the bistro. Uh, don't worry. I know how to play the financial advisors. Uh, yeah. All right, look, I'll see you in a bit. Bye. Uh, hi, Yasmin. Uh, black coffee, please. Filter's fine. Come here. It's a very crumpled shirt for a meeting. You going for the uh, London media look? Do you always listen to private conversations? Mm, if and when I can, yeah. That'll be 160, please. I'm a 10 piece shot. Oh, good job you've seen a financial advisor. <laughs> well, it's that our uh, 20 quid note. Don't worry, that's fine. Cheers. Thanks. I reckon Aiden's day is going to get a whole lot worse. What do you mean? Fancy lunch at the bistro? I didn't realise it was such a big problem with Mary. Oh, I just feel watched by her all the time. She can't wait to pick holes and tell me to do this or that with George. And I tell you, she started weaning him. Has that been asking me? No. And then she wonders why I get so angry. All right, I see. She's just waiting for me to mess up so she can prove that I'm a terrible mother. Look, it might seem like that, but I am sure that it comes from a place of care. The thing is, I'm just worried that she might be right. Um, there you go. Top. Every new mum struggles. I used to work on helplines and I would speak to them at four in the morning when they were tearing the hair out. I'm just exhausted. All the time. And that's completely normal, too. But I feel like I can't go. I... Have you talked to Jude? No, no. I just... I go in the loo, I cry it out, and come back, see George, kiss him, cuddle him, and pretend like it's OK. And it's not that I don't love him. I do, I just... When I look at him, I don't feel love. I just feel stress. I think you might have postnatal depression. <laughs> That's what the doctor said. Look, I'll meet you there. I might have found the solution for our delivery problem. That thing? It's a van. It's got wheels. Fine. See you in a bit. Mm-hmm. This still for sale, then? 
Uh, yeah. How much? Look, I'll level with you. Um, suspension's gone and brakes need doing. Things a death trap. I couldn't sell it to you. It's a shame. Well, thanks for telling me, though. I can keep me out for something else, though, if you like. Mate, I'd appreciate it. Beggar fizz. You're going nowhere, my lovely. You need a hand? Uh, no, I'm fine. It's all right, I can't do any. I, I don't need any help. It's okay. You've made your decision. I'm not trying to win you back up. Be a knight in shining armor and I'm literally just offering you a bin bag. Cheers. Uh, uh, our washing machine broke, so I've got to take it out to the laundrette. You could do it at mine if you like. Uh, no, there's, there's way too much. And I've got to dry it all as well. Well, why don't I look after Joseph, then, while you get this done? Take you to the park? No, Ta. Come on. It's got to be easier to get all this done without having a five-year-old running right here. Suppose. Yeah? Come on, then. And I'll carry this, you know? Thank God. My arms are killing me already, you know? <laughs> And the, the, the cold tap on the sink doesn't work? Right, well, can't you just brush your teeth with hot water? Uh, we have a child now, and we pay you rent. All right, Billy, I'll get a plumber to come and have a look at it. Hello. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, is the witch let you look after him? Oh, and she's not a witch, she's just a little bit troubled. D does he look all right to you? Looks like an ugly baby. Oh, no offence. I think all babies are ugly. How much are these? To you, 25 quid. Oh. How much would they be to anyone else? 25 quid. Fine. Oh, didn't know you had a son. What's his name? George. Oh. Hello, George. <laughs> Bye now. Bye-bye. But -bye. Well, what? I didn't have a chance to correct her. And you do have my genes, don't you? <laughs> Oh, well, he's definitely getting hotter. And he's a little bit flushed. I hope he's not getting ill again. He's probably just embarrassed that somebody thought you were his mother. No, he is definitely hot. I'm sure something's wrong. Come on. It's funny, you can look at someone and think how lucky they are, for whatever reason. And that if you were in their position, your life would be brilliant. And then you realise it's not so simple. <clears throat> hey. I got you a glass of wine. I thought you could do with it. <laughs> Thanks. Sorry about before. You don't apologise. Postnatal depression is very common and it's very treatable. Honestly, you've no idea how it feels to have wanted a baby for as long as I have, and then you finally get one, and it's not the dream you envisioned, it's a nightmare. I just feel ashamed. Oh, you have got nothing to be ashamed of. I can't cope with my own baby. The one thing we're supposed to be good at and do naturally, and I can't. It's the worst thing in the world. All right, Cos. More all right than you dad, I suspect. What the hell were you thinking? Aiden. Mark. Oh, hey. Uh, Aldi has just popped out. Can I get you a drink? Sparkling water, please. Ah, uh, cool. Uh, please, take a seat. Look, I am trying to rebuild my life. So if you could take that sour look off your face while you serve us, I'd be really grateful. There is definitely something not right. Because mm -hmm. there is nappy changing. Oh, I don't think so. Yeah, no, he smells fun to me, Mary. There's no point getting paranoid. Well, this is what happened last time. Oh. 
Blimey, someone's not happy. Does he look unwell to you? Oh. Oh, he's quite sweaty. Well, that is it. I'm definitely taking him to the medical centre. Mary, Mary, go and get his parents. <laughs> can't interrupt Judy. He's in an interview. Well, Angie, then. Well, Angie's in the bistro with Tori. He told me not to disturb her. All right, come on. Give him to me. Give him to me. OK, come on. Come on. Come on. Go and get her. Come on. Come on. Yeah. See, that's what was needed, wasn't it? We've got four potential clients on standby to order as soon as we're up and running. You've got transport sorted? Yes. Yeah. All sounds very hopeful. Projected figures? Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> Promise you won't tell anyone? Of course. Look, it's a recognised condition. You can get treatment. Yeah, I'm just worried people will say I'm an unfit mother. Oh, no one is going to say that. Uh, I'm sorry to interrupt. It's George. He's sweating, crying, just like last time. <sighs> Where is he? He's with Dev. We were going to take him to the medical centre. No, I'm going to take him to the hospital. Well, how are you getting there? My car's up the road. Well, you've been drinking. Less than half a glass, Mary! Mary, it's true. Well, that you've seen. Oh, look, just go easy on her. Oh, careful, he caused an accident. Which we could benefit from. Run faster. <laughs> Table for two? Yeah, why not? Um, that one? Yeah. I'll say, this looks pretty sad. Think we'll get alone? Can't see any reason why not. It's a shame Daniel's not here. Local homeless man starts a new business. Nice little human interest story. I thought you needed an address to get a bank loan. Really? Do you, Aidan? I, I've got an address. Well, aren't you you're sleeping rough at the factory? What? Are you kidding? Yeah, I saw you creeping out of there in the mornings, no? You told me you were keeping with a mate. One without an iron, obviously. Is this true? <sighs> nah, this fella's got a quadra against me. So, where are you living now? Cheers for looking after him. He doesn't say much, does he? Nope. He's not said a word since he's been here. He must be pretty traumatised. Poor kid. I know what it's like when your mum's suddenly not there. You even saw. He used to be proper chatty, you know. I'm worried that it's me. Not you. What if he just hates me? Who could hate you? <clears throat> Joseph? Are you hungry? Shall we go get you some food? See? Come fun. Come here, Dad. Sim. Hey. Says, yeah. He's hungry. Oh. Lived in Portugal, didn't he? I studied a bit of Jose Saramago at uni. And what is that? <laughs> he is a Portuguese writer. Won the Nobel Prize. Okay. Hey. So, um, you speak Portuguese then? Sim. Oh, well, no. I wanted to impress this girl in my seminar group, so I took her to a restaurant and I ordered in Portuguese. The only other thing I know how to say is, onde esta os banheros? What's that? It's supposed to mean, where are the toilets? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chesie's going to be made up. Joseph, should we go going? Comida? Sim. Yeah, sim. Well, as you can see, the uh, roof's gone. Other than that, there's no structural damage. You've been getting into fights again? <laughs> you walked Tripped into on a door. shoelace. <clears throat> Just hope the other fella came off worse. <laughs> Looks like you got tenants. What? Don't have to be evicting a whole lot of homeless people. It only looks like it's one person. Even one person causes a lot of problems. We'll get rid of them. Yeah, we should have been checking the place, shouldn't you? But once you confirm an offer, then we'll sort everything out for you. We'll get security. 
Uh, I don't know. You know this is a good investment. I'll have a think about it. Oh, Matthew! Look, I don't like to be pushed. I'll be in touch. Whoever that beggar is, I'll kill him. These are Aidens. What? Why they can't just put handles on these things, I don't know. Oh, just some grooves to stick your fingers in. We should invent some handles, you know, for moving white goods. <laughs> stick them in your pocket and just to fit all. Hey, that's a brilliant idea. We could be millionaires. <laughs> we seriously could. <laughs> I mean, you hear about that all the time, don't you? You know, people one week they're signing on, the next they've invented a, a bag that folds up and then the millionaires. All bags fold up, don't they? Yeah, I'm making a point, Jez. Oh, right. Hey, my hands are killing, you know. Hey, well, come on, until we invent these handles, one last push, eh? In it goes. I don't believe it. What? It's Joseph and Sinead with Daniel. Oh, cheers. Daddy! I'm not your daddy. Daddy! What's all this, then? Angie! Oh, what now? Angie, I'm sorry I can't let you drive. I've had two sips of wine. D I don't want to address this so broadly, <sighs> but I know you've got an alcohol problem. I don't have time for this nonsense. Angie, think of your son. I am thinking of my son. Now get out of my way. It's getting to the hospital. So he is ill, then? And Angie's been drinking. But she says she has been. Well, she's probably got a bottle of vodka in the glove compartment. What are you doing? Please, please. Mary. Get your car. Yes, I'd like to report a drink driver. There's a young child in danger. <sighs> We're back in Coronation Street in half an hour. To do. My underwear were all over the street. Yeah, you drop your knickers and he comes running. Whoa! She couldn't handle it all by herself and look after Joseph. I offered to help, that's all. He took him to the park while I went to the laundrette. What? You left him with my son? Yeah, when I was doing your washing. And he got him to speak. Yeah. Daniel, show him. Go on, just show him. Come here, Sim. See? Isn't that brilliant? Come on, let's go. What? Are you not even going to say thanks? Thanks. Bye-bye. Sorry, I had to take that call. Now, your living arrangements. I, I stayed one night at the factory. It was a favour to me, Dad. You know, he was worried that someone had tried to break in, so he asked me to keep over. Child could have come up with a more convincing lie. To be fair, our aim is one of the best liars I know. So, where are you living then? I'm going to need a verifiable name and address. He's living with me. Yeah, we weren't sure whether to say in case he looked like we were, <laughs> you know. Which we are not. We're just business partners. <clears throat> Rubbish. <clears throat> but you're calling me a liar and all. There's no problem with you cohabiting, but I will need proof of your living arrangements. Of course. In that case, I'll start the ball rolling. Oh, oh thank you so much. My pleasure. Speak soon. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me? I didn't know it would come up. Oh, I'm sorry, but Luke's not gonna have you back in the flat. No, I know. But if I could just use the address. You could stay with my gran, I suppose. What would she let me? Well, we can ask her. But I don't want you sleeping rough. If only so you've got access to a washing machine. <laughs> she really cares. Cheers. You're pathetic. Says the man begging floor space from somebody's granny. I'm trying to get my son to the hospital, but I was going too fast and that's why. You are under the speed limit, but I'm afraid you'll need to do a breath test. What? Why? Don't worry, it won't take long. Charlie Echo, please. That woman called you, didn't she? I don't know who reported it. How dare you? I'm sorry, Angie. And you're helping her. Can't you see what she's trying to do? Look, if you have been drinking, she's got a point. I had two sips of wine. Look, officer, please, just let me get my son to the hospital. I'm his grandmother. We can take him. You're not going anywhere near my son. I think you need to calm down, madam. Like I said, she's been drinking. Cathy, please say sell-by date today. That's why the 99p. 
How about 30p? No one else is going to buy them. Well, then we'll be making a loss. You'll make more of a loss when you have to throw them away. Good point. Fine. Don't tell Dev. Your grand's a diamond. What uh, wine does she like? She doesn't drink. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, chocolate? Those are on offer. Well, surely Yasmin deserves full price chocolates for uh, whatever it is she's done. Well, she's agreed to let me stay at number six for a bit. Does she now? Mm -hmm. Nice of her to consult me. Oh, yeah. You and Aidan are getting very cosy. We are business partners. Mm. Is it going well, is it? It will be, once we get the transport sorted. Oh, well, if you're looking for a van, you know Tyrone's got one for sale. I already asked him. He said it was a death trap, couldn't sell it to me. Did he now? Mm -hmm. Well, fair dues. I respect him for his honesty. Oh, yes. Honest as the day he was born, Ty. You should turn it. We can't put it down now. We could if we had our adjustable handles. What handles? But you clip on to any white goods help you carry them. Genius. <laughs> Can I help you with something? No, no. I'm just uh, enjoying the show. I was expecting something better. Oh, it's barely used. This is brilliant. Why didn't you get a stainless steel one? Oh, all our other appliances are white. So, a bit of class on it. <laughs> Why don't you go and help Chine and move the sofa? <laughs> I need to put it down a second. My fingers are raw. <laughs> I thought I'd nip oh, out. Oh, babe, do you remember? You said you were going to help me move those heavy flowers. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was one, all right. See you in a bit, guys. Oh, we go. Ready? Yeah, one, two, three. Oh, the van's a death trap. Oh, stop! Blow, blow, keep on blowing. Great. Please, can I get my grandson, officer? You're well under the limit. What? What did you expect? As I said, this woman's got it in for me. She's my mother-in-law. That is not true. I mean, yes, I am her mother-in-law, but I don't have it in for you. I'm just concerned about my grandson's safety. No, she's doing it on purpose. She's trying to prove that I'm a bad mother. I'm not. D Dev, tell her. Look, I don't know why Mary would want to make life difficult for you. Because she's a desperate cow and she wants this baby all to herself. Yeah, OK, look, please. No! I'm taking my son to the hospital, which is where I should have been half an hour ago. Wait till Jude hears about this. You'll never see George again. He won't fit. Beth's gonna go mental. I don't care what Beth's gonna do. I thought these were all the same size. Oh, I can't put weight on this toe. What if he's broken? Maybe it just needs a good push. Oh! Why'd you make me do that? Eh? I can't drive the van this afternoon. I'll have to call Tracy. Can you call her? What, why me? Because I'm scared. Do I have to do everything in this house? Sinead, can you put Joseph's tea on, please? Yeah, in a minute. Me chamo, Sinead. Stop it. Joseph can speak English just fine. Except he hasn't been. I heard about this Paul once. He woke up from a coma speaking in a Jamaican accent, but he'd never been to Jamaica. He was from Wigan. We need to make him speak English. Isn't it better we just get him to speak? No, not in a foreign language. He's got to be able to go to school here and communicate. I'm just trying to make a connection. You're not thinking what's best for him. I'm trying my best. Angie didn't mean it. She's just angry. A and you will understand my concerns. I mean, after all, the evidence was... Evidence? Well, the leaflet we found and her history of lying. Well, Mary, you know, we don't know for sure that she lied about that job. I know when somebody's lying, Dev, my nose itches. Like Pinocchio. <laughs> Not at all like Pinocchio. His nose grew when he lied. Mine itches when others do. And I've seen her drinking. Well, Mary, come on, a few glasses here or there. I, mean, I drink more than that, you know, obviously not when I'm in charge of the children. She is definitely hiding something, I feel it. In the way she is with George, in the way she is with Jude, even. There's something wrong with the woman. Well, are you sure you're not just imagining these things, Mary? You know, maybe you're getting hay fever or... Uh... When I have an instinct about someone, I am never wrong. Never. Mary, I'm, I'm saying this as someone who loves you dearly. 
I sense a capital B-U-T coming. But I think you're oversensitive when George is concerned. You know, I don't know, you missed out on uh, Jude's childhood, you want to make up for it, whatever it is. Okay, but you are running the, the danger of, of pushing things too far. Well, like I said, Jude will understand. Yeah, or maybe he will think that you're attacking his wife for no reason. I'm not. Look, Mary, you have this great instinct about people, but today you got it completely wrong, and, and Angie's quite rightly furious. Now, come on, if you want to keep a good relationship with your son, with your grandson, then I think you need to apologize profusely. Perhaps you're right. And I know I always say I'm right, but this time, Mary, I really am. Good book. Mary. What's it about? Uh. Complicated heroine trapped in the banalities of domestic life. Sounds like most women I know. <laughs> hey, uh, how's George? You haven't heard from Angie, have you? Sorry. She's an all right, Minnie. Well, I don't have time to answer that question truthfully, so I shall simply refrain from replying. It's a long winded way of saying no. She's not replying to my calls. We. Well, I need to apologize. I thought she'd been drinking, but she hadn't. I did say. I know, I know, but certain factors make me assume. I always tell my clients never assume. Makes an ass of you and me. Yeah, it's rubbish, isn't it? I should probably stop using it. Look, you need to stop judging her. I mean, not everybody finds it easy being a mum. What do you mean? Just be a bit kinder to her, eh? I think she could do with it. I've sent a packet of cheese and onion, please. You in the doghouse? Is it that obvious? <sighs> Tell you what, I'll uh, bring the drinks over. Ta. You can't bribe me with crisps. It's not a bribe. You are selling that van. She's a good van. I hate it when blokes call things she. I don't call me Uber E, do I? No, because it'd be ridiculous. Well, it's still a good van. We bought with money that was given to us for hope. And you know I want to top up the crowdfunding page before it ends. I'll make it back in a couple of months. Have you forgotten the trouble you got into before? <clears throat> Thank you. Ta. Spending money that you didn't have, sure that you'd make it all back by Christmas. <laughs> Is that a sigh of agreement? It's a sigh of resignation. That'll do. Well, I'm going to have to drive her. It. Around. So that people know it's for sale. No need. I've told Aidan that he can have it on trial for 24 hours, and if he likes it, he can have first dibs. You what? Keys. Well, just once around the block, you know, just to say goodbye. You nearly cost me a buyer today. Why didn't you tell me you were sleeping here? You didn't ask. <sighs> I should have done. That looks nasty. Yeah, you've done no wonders for me modelling career. I'm sorry, Dad. Why don't you come and stay with me and Jenny for a bit? Oh, she would have let me through the front door. She's not an old girl. She laid right into me yesterday. Did she? Now, don't pretend you didn't know. I didn't. Not that I minded defending me. But she didn't tell you. <laughs> bit sneaky. I'm not gonna put up with you insulting my wife anymore. But it's okay for her to insult your son. Yeah, if we're talking insults, I think you'd be out pushed to top this. But I've said I'm sorry. You don't flame in soundy. So, I give up. Where are you gonna go? Yasmin's for a bit. So who's the buyer? Matthew Singh's putting an offer, if you must know. That idiot! You really have no pride, do you? Says the man kipping on a factory floor. 
I really thought you might have had a change of heart. You think punching me is gonna make a difference? I don't know what makes a difference with you, Dad. I've never known. All I do know is I've never done anything right. Enjoy your retirement. Oi. They better not be for Kirk. I'm not in the habit of giving my employees flowers, especially ones that are injured and not even working. No, the fishing aid, just to say sorry. All right. Well, then you're going to need a large one. How much are they? 30 quid. How much? How oh, sorry are you? Right, I'll take it. So come on, then. What have you done? Actually, it's down to your brother. Oh, which one? The alcoholic one or the crazy one? The crazy one. Sticking his nose in with Sinead again. And worse, my kid. So what are you saying sorry for, then? Well, because I shouted at her. She only let Daniel help her with Joseph, and she's doing the best she can. She never asked for a grieving five-year-old to be dumped on her. Oh, please. You are way too soft on that girl. In fact, you are way too soft on everybody. That is why people walk all over you. Well, who does? Who doesn't? Maybe you're right. Keep the flowers. No, no, wait! I, I just want to know if George is OK. They're back. They've just pulled up outside number eight. Is George with them? Yeah, I think so. I think Jude's coming over. Oh. Did you get my messages? How is he? Dave, could you give us a minute? Yeah, of course. Jude. What is wrong with you? I genuinely thought she'd been drinking. Seriously? What kind of sick fantasies go on in your head? I, I found an alcoholism leaflet in her handbag. You were going through her handbag? No, no, no. It, it fell out. Angie hardly drinks. I'd know if she has a problem. She hasn't. But there's something wrong with her, Jude. I, I mean, she's on edge. She's distracted. She can be very distant with George. But can't you see it? I see. My wife who is understandably tired because we have a baby. It, it, it's more than that. I mean, even Toya said as well, much. What, so you and your nosy neighbours are gossiping behind her back? No! You have had a problem with my wife since day one. She kept telling me. But I wouldn't believe it. I stood up for you. I said, I know she's an oddball, but she's got a good heart. And I want her in our lives so that she can be a proper nana for George. Well, that's what I want, too. But she's right. You're twisted twisted and jealous. And I won't have you projecting your guilt and failure as a mother onto Angie. I'm not. I thought having you in our lives was a good thing. But now I see. I was being naive. I should never have got in touch with you. I should have held on to the fantasy that my mum was a good woman. Jude, I, I know I've gone too far. And I, and I know that Angie is angry, and, and I will make it up to her. It's too late. I'm still going to be able to see George, aren't I? You're a freak. And you should never be allowed near children. And I don't want you near mine. Here overnight. No, no, I'll park it around the back of Underworld. It'll be safer there. He's van over net. It's mine. For my business. That's a shame your little plan backfired. There'll be other little plans. Hey, how was school? My grown-ups always ask that. School is school, it's the same every day. Pretty boring. Todd is it like most grown-ups, though. You do know that. I'm, I'm sorry to say this, Summer, but your dad has a real problem with being a failure. That he likes to take it out on everyone else. Why are you being so nasty? Oh, uh, do you want to tell her why? He does some really childish things. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, the truth hurts, eh, hey, Todd? Don't mention this the boss to, uh, to Billy. And yeah. you're not the boss really? of work. Two words, social services. Even some is harder than you. So go on. Run along home. That's a good little boy. <sighs> Where have you been? 
You left Kirky with that blasted washing machine with his toe and all. I had to stick it out the back. Why didn't you measure it, you idiot? Oh, and I heard what happened with you and Sinead. You should be ashamed of yourself. I made Joseph some mac and cheese, but he wouldn't eat it. It's a shame. It's good. She won't come downstairs. You need to apologise. I don't need you telling me... Can we me just what... clear some of these toys? This is Craigie's bedroom, you know. And that kid, he needs to learn he can't leave everything everywhere. Hey! Right, that's it. I've had enough. I want you out. Both of you. And Craig. I mean it. Find somewhere else to live, cos this isn't working. Where? It's not my problem, Beth. I need to concentrate on Joseph and Sinead. You lot being here is making everything worse. I'm sorry, Kirk. He doesn't mean that. I think he does. Let me see George anymore. He doesn't want me anywhere near him. Money. I know I went too far, but I was only trying to protect him. I know. He called me a freak and said I shouldn't be anywhere near children. You know, Come on, you're wonderful with children. And, and you'd be more of a mother to Asha and Nadi than anyone since Anita passed away. They love you. They love you and I trust you with their lives. Really? Absolutely. But George is my grandson and Jude is my son. And all I've ever wanted is a relationship with them. And now, and now, I've ruined it. No, but listen, listen, I'm sure he's going to come round once he's calmed down, honey. But what if he doesn't? What will I do? <laughs> come here, come here, Next, the practice is closed and the tribunal looms. It's the last in the present series of Doc Martin here on ITV. And there's a special guest star too. Get up or go to sleep, but please stop moving. Sorry, just can't sleep. <sighs> Guilty conscience. Yeah, funny. <sighs> Sorry, Peanut. I know I'm quiet this morning. I just don't know if talking can help this one. I mean, I don't blame Chess. It is a small house. And you might be small, but me, Beth and Craig, 
We're not. We're big. Oh, I don't know. It's complicated. So, what is this? Robert's favourite champagne. What? You mean we get up early just so we can make things nice for your boyfriend? Yeah, it's about the shape of it. Mm. No, well, I just thought we could have a bit of a do to welcome him home this afternoon. Oh, right, so Robert's out today. Yes. It's our wedding anniversary, mine and Robert's. 21 years. Well, it would be if we're still married, like. Right, well, uh, congratulations. Thank you. Do you know, Summit, Robert has changed so much. Has he? Oh, yeah, the Robert I knew, he would have hated a fuss. Especially after being banged up, the last thing he would have wanted is... What did you just call it? A bit of a do. Anyway, like I say, perhaps he's changed, eh? Hope it goes well. See ya. She had literally just come over here to be horrible. Uh, you have met her, is it? <sighs> She's incredible. That's one word for her. So then, this is what it feels like to be homeless. I know, I know, you're right. Someone will turn up. Kirk, who are you talking to? Peanut. Oh, right, yeah, of course. Um, well, listen, when you finish your chat, do you want to pop up? Just had a chat with Beth. I think I might have the answer to your housing problems. Oh, you are good. Come on. Great chat. Mm. Let me give you something for No, me. no, no, no. I, I told Fizz, no charge. Hey, we're not that hard up, but we need free food. He offered. What, is Izzy paying? I don't know, all right. Anyway, we might be soon. Have you seen the length of their Christmas list? Oh, is this for Santa? No, no, no for you. Well, let's have a look. Come in. Mm, let's have a look what you've got. Oh. oh, come on, that's not too bad. That's the second page. That's her set. Pay. All right. We need to get the money in the crowdfunding account tight and soon. Well, can I just check that we are 100% sure that we don't just want to sack off the crowdfunding page and keep Delilah? A, we're sure. And two, can you please stop calling it? That is a van tie, not a puppy. Well, I'm just saying, Delilah, the van, mm -hmm. it gives us a way to earn long term. The headscarves are long term. You need to sort I know, the... I know. I will go and see Aidan as soon as I've dropped these two off. We can use to stop writing. Come on, how many toys do you need? Mm. Right, yeah. school time, yeah, let's on go. Now. Come on, we're going to be late. Give me that. Bye. I'll do that. Bye, bye, bye. Uh, you, like you can cut that out and all. It's a bit early for house calls, isn't it? Come in. Hope you're on overtime. Is everything OK? Um, Summer, just just give us a sec. Go get ready for school, yeah? No, I want to It's hear fine. This. Summer. Um, is this anything to do with her? No. Come on, then. Spit it out. William Mayhew, I'm arresting you on suspicion of robbery. What? Robbery? You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you mistake. do not mention when questioned something you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Billy? Thank you. Thank you. If, if you don't mind me saying, you, you seem a, a little troubled. All oh, right, it's a long story. Well, we are quiet. If you feel that arrogant might help, I'll, I'll leave it be. I told you about the whole crowdfunding thing, didn't I? Well, there was a waste of a five left. Hmm? Nothing like a toasted tea cake to warm the cockles of your heart. Your words, Mary, your words. Sounds like something I might say. Yeah. 
It's little George. Well, of course it's little George. I just want to make sure he's okay. Oh, Mary, you promised. I just want to be sure. Right, why don't you go over there? Go on, go and storm over there, and there is confecting the whole future relationship with that child, and for what? Hmm? Cold, flipping cockles? Like I said, you need to give them space. So what started off as something nice has just gone all wrong? Well, money has a tendency to do that. Corrupt. That's the word, corrupted. You've got a word, you. Interestingly, at the heart of your dilemma, there's no real moral impropriety involved. Right. Well, of the two options that you've outlined, spending it on hope as per the donor's wishes, uh, or, or sharing it out amongst your colleagues, uh, both are noble undertakings. I don't feel very noble. Well, that's not because of the dilemma. That's because you kept the dilemma a secret. You put yourself under pressure by not telling the truth. So basically you're saying that I should just have told everyone everything, the truth? I yes. Well, that's quite a simple plan. The best plans often are. Tyrone doesn't really have a dead uncle, Frank. And he definitely hasn't got one who was a stuntman in films. Right, yes, well... Well, now you mention it, it do does sound a, a little improbable. Yeah. I'm sorry. You're right, I do feel much better. Thank you. Sorry to be blunt. No, I appreciate your honesty. Are you coming? Well, I, I might ask Roy to warm these up again and give those cockles a go again. Oh, right. How is George? I don't know, Roy. I don't know. I wish I did. I'm trying to give them some space. Probably for the best. Yes, it probably is. It was on the table earlier. I need your help, Adam. I'll come in to work. Billy's been arrested. Billy? What for? Robbery. You're joking. He's been dipping the collection plate again. <laughs> Just don't, all right? I'm not in the mood. I told you, you'd be better off with the duty solicitor. Hang on, you want me to be as brief? That's right. Ah, uh, yeah, if I were you, I'd listen to her. Shut it. But it's not really my specialism. I think I don't know that. Then why do you want me? Summer, will you just go and wait down there? No, no don't even try and get rid of me. I'm not a kid, so if you're gonna say something, you can say it in front of me. I like her. Shut your face. She's beginning to grow on me, too. Listen, we're talking about Billy here, all right? I'm not saying he's he's done anything wrong, but he's that flipping honest. He'll end up confessing to all sorts. So you just want me to go in there and tell him to keep his garb shut? Yeah. Yeah, but actually, yeah, that's probably for the best. All right. Is she coming with us? Yeah, of course I am. No. No, we're dropping you off at school on the way. No. No, you are not hanging out at a police station and missing school, young lady. Uh, yes, I am. I'd hurry up and make a decision if you want me to get there before the duty solicitor. Yeah. I mean, Weatherfield High is on the other side of town. You're not going to make it in time. Yeah, no. No. He's... No, I've got to get back to the bistro. I'm not babysitting her. And I'm not a baby. Please. <sighs> Add 30 seconds. Barely that of hot water. How can a man take that long in the shower? It's not like he's even got any hair to wash. It's the pile of stuff he leaves everywhere that infuriates mm. me. Loose change, his wallet and phone, receipts. Yeah, he's a pocket dumper. A pocket dumper? Oh, oh yeah. There's a certain type of man, right? He can't bear to keep anything in his pockets, so no sideboard is safe. As soon as the pocket reaches critical mass, plop, out it goes. My Alan was one. He'd do his tissues and all. Oh, please, do not get me started on our current lavatory roll consumption. <laughs> Morning. 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 So, what are we talking about? Oh, we're just having a natter. Mm. About pocket dumping. Pocket? Oh, uh, nothing very serious. I'll uh, just get that. <laughs> Is Aiden here? Aiden, it's burnt out, it's all gone. The van, I've just seen it, someone set it on fire. What? It's completely burnt out. I thought I heard glass smashing last night. Oh, they never tell me it wasn't there. What am I gonna tell Fizz now? 
So, um, are you going to tell me what this is all about? We've told you. A robbery, a cold case from 2001. You honestly have no idea. No. Right, then. We'll just need to get that on tape, OK? I don't get it. Billy wouldn't steal anything. It's probably just a misunderstanding. Oh, someone's died in Todd's line to protect me. He does that. Protect you? Well, yeah, I suppose, but I meant lie, you know, keep secrets. Oh, right. Look, I'm sorry about your dad. That's a weird thing to say. Is it? Yeah, why would you bring that up? Sorry, I'm just sorry. You know, I get that a lot, actually, people saying that weird. Yeah, me too. Yeah? Oh, hiya. Hiya, you all right? Yeah, uh, just still running around after this one. Yeah, me too. Uh, don't dump me with the fibre rod. I can walk to school by myself. Kids, eh? Very funny. Right, well, uh, we're going to the shop, so... Cool. Yeah. See you in a bit. See ya. What? What's going on between you two, then? Nothing. Uh, Joseph! Alia, oh, yeah, I, I... I don't know what to say. <laughs> the van, the materials, it's... It's all gone. Joseph! You can't just do that. Did we crash? Alia, it's completely uh, out. Come on, love. Let, let's go oh, to the shop and get some sweets, yeah? No, I want to look. Right. OK. Um, no, it, I don't think it crashed. I think it's just burned. Accidents happen sometimes. It's very sad. But it's okay to be sad, you know. I was in a crash once. <sighs> Sorry, Joseph. I, I don't know why I said that. I just. I just want you to know. You can talk about it. You know, your mum. If, if you want to. With me or your dad. You can say anything you want. Because we're here for you. I'm going to keep you safe. Yeah? Joseph, did, did you hear me? Can we get those sweets now? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course we can. Sorry for the delay, Mr Mayhew. We're just waiting on your solicitor. Right. Sorry about that. A bit of a change of plan. I'll be representing Mr Mayhew today. Hello, Mr Mayhew. Um, hi. Is this what you want? Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Great. Obviously, my client won't be answering any questions until we've spoken in private. Take all the time you need. What are you doing here? Your boyfriend doesn't trust you to keep your mouth shut in front of a duty solicitor. Great. So I'm here to give you the most important advice anyone will ever give you. Don't say anything. Right. I mean it. Them bringing you in here is a good thing. It means they've not got enough evidence to charge you. They're hoping you'll slip up and give them something. You listen to me? Yeah. The only thing you're required by law to give them is your name, address and day of birth. Anything else, it's no comment. If this ever gets to court, just tell them you stay silent because of legal advice. Simple as that. Simple as that. Don't you want to know what I did? No comment. 
repeat after me. No comment. Billy. Good spiel? Yeah. Everyone wanted to be on shift today to welcome you back and I've got some of that champagne that you like. Huh. I can wait. You can't just run away from me like that. Sorry. It's all right. Come on, should we go play a game? Yeah? You're brilliant with him, you know that. <sighs> Hasn't your shift died? Oh, no. Here, Cook! We you just take this? I've got to get to work on it. Right. Oh. Chelsea, are you sure this is the right decision? I mean, I know it can be a bit squashy and my Auntie Beth can be a bit... Well, that's just it, though, innit? I can't be worrying how Beth can be a bit... No, Joseph has to be our main focus. There's no money as well. Because we can't rely on their rent. I'll find a way to make it work, I promise you. Look, I've got to go. I'll see you later, big man. Oh, right, babe, are you lot moving out of your lodgings, then? Moving to Maria's, yeah. Apparently we're crowding in. Beth, don't be like that. I told you, I have to put Joseph and Sinead first. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Go and get me dinner. Oh, nice one, Ches. Hey, who'd have thought it? Chesney is growing a backbone. Oh, jog on, Tracy, will you stop steering it? Oh, do me a favour, Maria. I'm having a slow morning. Yeah, I knew it. As soon as I saw you, I had that look in your eye. Sorry, I'm late. I've lost track of time. Well, you picked exactly the right day for it, Chesney, me on, mate. Is it a good move? Yeah, you know the uh, chippy up the road have just had my offer accepted. Oh, congratulations. Uh, yeah. The Alahan Empire just forges on first prima donna, then prima chips. Oh, prima chips? That's just a working title. Oh. Have you decided who'll be managing it? Oh, not yet, Chesney, mate. I mean, it's early days. Oh, I can do it. What do you mean, you can do it? You work here? Yeah, but they're only a few yards away from each other. I can do both. Think of it as, um... Brand continuity. Oh, um, yeah, brand continuity. I do sometimes listen to it. Glad to hear it, mate. It's going to be a lot of work, though. I know, but I'm ready for it. New challenge. Let me think about it. So now we're back at Maria's, which means we'll be even more squashed in. I know the feeling. Oh, it's just that we've been there that long. Feels like home, you know. Oh, I'm moaning again. Oh, it's fine. I don't mind. It'll be my turn in a minute. Still not found a job yet, either. Oh. I mean, Gary's helping out, but I don't like to feel like a burden, you know. Don't know. It can be fun for a while. A week, tops. Two at the most. Mm. After that, you start losing serious feminism points. And that bothers you, does it? What can I say? I am a Beyonce fan. And if Queen Bee came in here now, giving it all the women who are independent, you wouldn't be able to throw your hands about her. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> and I don't like disappointing Beyonce. <laughs> that is summer I live by. <laughs> oh, is that you or me? It was both, actually. Oh, Fizz. Yeah. Approaching the deadline, meeting the pub at half one. Hey, did you hear someone burnt down Tyrone's van last night? Oh, was that Tyrone's? Yeah. Oh, dear. Hey, maybe she wants to give us some of that insurance money. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, as I discussed with her this morning, Fizz had no moral obligation to share that money. Uh, if she wanted to buy a van, then she'd buy a van. What money? Well, the, the crowdfunding for home. Oh. What? She got money from the crowdfunding and spent it on that van? Well, what about dead Uncle Frank? D did, did she not say? Oh, oh, dear. Everything was in there. How are we going to meet the order? We can't. Until we get that loan, we don't have the money to order more materials. Is there anyone who might have a grudge against you? No, uh... no I know who did this. It was Todd Grimshaw. Right, so 
sorry for the delay. Are you going to elaborate as to why my client is here, or are you going to keep us in suspense? Billy, would you care to explain why your fingerprints were found on a burnt-out car that we know was used in an armed robbery in Lancaster on the 11th of February, 2001? 2001. William, would you like me to repeat the question? You okay? And we're back in Carnation Street in half an hour. I'd like to request the recess for my little comment. You sure? You look upset. No comment. The car was found abandoned 16 years ago in a car park outside Manchester. Do you recognise that as all? Well? No comment. Cheers. <clears throat> Don't tell Mary, but I'm gagging for something stronger. I don't know. Maybe she's right. Maybe I do have a problem. Uh, you're sitting in a pub. You're tired and stressed. Wanting a drink doesn't mean you've got a drink problem. Have they worked out what's wrong with him yet? No. Um, he's booked in for some tests, but until they get the results from that, there's not really much they can do. I just have to keep an eye on him. I just feel so useless. You're not. Look, babies get sick. It's got nothing to do with you. Have you talked to Jude yet about your depression? You should. But then he'll know, and I feel even more like a failure. Hey, come on. Sorry, I'm late. Everything's gone wrong. Ty just phoned. Yeah, I heard about the van. Poor <sighs> thing. Mm, don't think that's the right word, is it? Mm -hmm. Paul. Beth. What do you mean? What I mean is, you're hardly poor, are you? With all the money he scammed off us from the crowdfunding. What? I love you. Well, it's probably just as well, given that we're going to be living and working together for the foreseeable future. The partnership papers for the bistro. <sighs> All you have to do is sign. Later. Oh, again? Mm-hmm. <laughs> OK. And now the deadline has passed. It's not like we can even do anything about it. It's not my fault somebody blew up our van. Oh. What's up with them? Oh, just something to do with Tyrone's van being burned out and Hope's Christmas say about it? I'm, Wait, I'm Hope blew up the van? I got you here to tell you the truth. Are you expecting? to believe that. Uh, can you quieten it down, please, ladies, or take it outside? There are other people in here. We don't mind. No, it's fine. Shush, Toya. Look, do you want to go through to the back? No, I should be going. Oh, go on, please, so we can have a proper chat. It's quiet in there, yeah? So let's get this straight. I set up the crowdfunding. I organised it all, and it was my idea to use Hope's story. Without me knowing. Oh, but isn't it funny how you're suddenly perfectly fine with it? Now you've got a shed load of cash. I told you, that donor didn't pledge to the website. They gave the money to us, personally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Blah, 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 whatever. You know, you've But they wouldn't have known anything about it if it wasn't for my work. Uh, to be fair, Auntie Beth, it wasn't just you, was it? Oh, whatever. All I know is she has been flashing cash she stole from us. You were selfish as your brother. Hey, you are. Come on. Jess isn't selfish. I'm sorry, Shade, but he turfed us out without a second thought. And you don't even think about defending her. Your reliability, a thief, and I'm glad you've fallen back down. You know what? This just got real. Hey, where are you off to? Don't ask. I've got to follow up on that burnt out van. That's what you saw on. Let's just get out of here, yeah. Okay. Are you by yourself? 
No, because I'm not a saddo. Well, I'm meeting a supplier, if you must know. I'll have another glass of Pinot if it's not too much trouble. Hey! Hey! hey. Check out the silver fox. Yeah, all right, let's get all the jokes over with. No, it looks really good. Yeah, it does, but you do have to bear in mind that her straight crush is Philip Schofield. <laughs> <laughs> It's good to see you, man, but whatever colour your hair is, you're going to have to step up your game. Reviews online have shown a definite upturn since I've been head chef. Yeah, we think he's writing them himself. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. So, you haven't missed me at all, then? Yeah, no, we have. It's not the same in that kitchen without you throwing your little temper tantrums over your Bernese sauce. <laughs> well, now that I'm back, the first thing that I want to do... Champagne. Oh, OK, second thing. Mm. <laughs> second thing I want to do is to officially announce my new business partner. So, eventually, when we get round to the rebrand, this place will definitely not be called Nick's Bistro. But neither will it be called Robert's. It's going to be called Robert and Michelle's Bistro. Aww. You're not calling it that, though. Because that's a terrible name. <laughs> no, that's not the name. No, it's going to be something great and modern and... Yeah, we, we haven't thought, thought of it yet. <laughs> <laughs> right, get to work, then. All right. Well, if you want to be a partner, you've got to pull your weight. Flipping air, because it's too late to back out. Yep. Deal's done. Not oh, well, cheers to that. It's me and you, Shell. So come on then. Hand it over. That's my money. Your money? Why? Because it was your idea to make money off a sick child. My sick child. Whoa, what is going on? Oh, oh God, it's Adam. No, I should have had the lunch ages ago, and I'm still in trouble from before. Hi, babe. Actually, yeah. What? Please. OK, yeah, I'll see them. Right, OK, I'm going now. Are you all good? Yeah, yeah, just tell me everything I miss, OK? Beth, we didn't nick it. That's what I keep trying to tell her, but she reckons the van caught fire out of karma. No, the police said that it was definitely torched. It wasn't karma. It was you! What? Hang on, we only found out about it at lunchtime. Yeah, well, she could have pretended she didn't know, but maybe she did. No, Fizz, it wasn't her. No, go on, let her spread dirt about me if she wants to. Oh, now I'm an arsonist as well, I'm asked. You're the one spreading dirt about me! I never! Oh! Yeah, actually, you want to know what spreading dirt looks like? No. Here! Go! Back! Oh, Fizz, don't. <laughs> So this basically counts as a mud vessel, yeah? Oh, Don't lie to me. God knows he deserves it, but the police are out there looking for you, so you better get your story straight. I know. You know what? I had the police talking about it at the station. So it was you. You just let me deal with it, OK? OK. It wasn't a mistake. You did it, yeah? Whatever they arrested you for. OK, well... Let me say mine first. No, I torched Aidan's van. What? I burned it down and now I think the police know. He was saying these things in front of Summit and I just lost it. It's just like he humiliated me. No, and it's not an excuse because I knew. I knew what I was doing. But I just wanted to hurt him. I wanted to make him suffer. So tell me again how I'm not worthy of someone because it's true. No, I can't. It's tell true. You that. I can't tell you that. I can't tell you that because I have done something far worse. <laughs> told anyone this. Billy, you can tell me anything. I didn't say anything before because of all the stuff with Summer, but... 
When me and Drew broke up, it hit me really hard. I mean, we, we sorted things out later on, but... You know what it's like when you're young and you, you break up, you, you think your life's over. Mm. Well, just as things were getting really bad, my dad showed up again. He'd, um, he'd heard about Drew and I dropped out of uni, ran out of money, so he asked me to go back with him, chalk it all up as a phase. That was the first time I hit someone. He didn't say anything after that, he just walked away. Don't tell me you're sorry about that after what he put you through when he came out. But, but that's just it, that's what I thought too, but then... After he left that day... All that anger that I'd felt before that I hadn't dealt with, it just... It all came flooding back. Put on this, this big front. Like, no one could touch me. Started drinking loads and hanging out with these. these idiots. They go out looking for fights. And I loved it. Being thought of as someone you, you could mess with. You know, it made me feel proud of myself. Like I was, like I was worth something. I get that. No, no, no. Please don't misunderstand me. I'm not, I'm not telling you this because I want you to understand. I'm, mm. I'm not looking for absolution. I know, I'm, I'm just saying I understand no, how you... No, no. The thing is, Todd, you don't know me. Not really. You never have. So, your meeting's a no-show, then? And to think, you only got a 2-2. Hmm. So you definitely didn't just come in today to check up on Robert, you know, on your anniversary. Oh, you got me. I am so full of jealousy about my ex turned ex-con. I found. Hey, you okay? Sorry. Yeah. I'll leave you to it. I'm not okay. I'm and I don't know why. I thought maybe it was the tiredness of for it. I remember getting this massive buzz. When we were stood outside, I was putting my mask on. And then once we went in, it, it all went. You see, the, the bloke, he, he lied. The gun, it, it wasn't a replica. When we went in, he just shot out the window. And it didn't hit anyone, but... I remember the sound, it was terrifying. But what I remember most of all was the... 
the look on the face of the girl behind the counter. She was barely 18. Only a few years older than Summer and... She, she just burst into tears. Like... I've never seen anyone look so scared. And I knew... I knew I should have walked away. I didn't. We got in the car and we drove off. Uh, no, no, please, please don't interrupt because if I don't say this now, I'm never gonna... The guy driving was off his face. And that mixed with the adrenaline of what had just happened. We, we were swerving in and out of cars. And then we got, we got too close to this one car and it swerved and it... The noise was even more terrifying than the gunshot when it crashed. And I looked back and it was... It didn't even look like a car, it was just this... Twisted heap of metal in it. <laughs> I don't know how anyone could have survived. <laughs> oh. Oh. I think there was a... Oh. It was a woman driving. I think there was someone in the car with her. <laughs> Is it? I... I don't know. We just drove away. That it was me. It was actually me that told him to keep going. Because I said there was nothing we could do, but that was a lie. I just didn't want to look back anymore. I was too scared. So he drove away. <laughs> you celebrating not working yeah so take into up as well you guys really don't need me do you oh yes we do that and a few good reviews doesn't change the fact that we were pretty stretched and you happen to be looking at somebody that really needs you <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. well you might need to give me a little bit more time to recover i pulled some out of the gym and i think we made it worse oh uh, no i thought you were limping was that me well i'm, I'm really sorry you're so not sorry. Well, I'm not sorry. <laughs> I think there's still some soil in here. I can't believe she did that. Did you hear her calling me all sorts? I had stuff about chairs. Though, well, to be fair, you did get a few of your own good shots in, too. Did you see me hit her with that pansy? Literally. I have never been more proud. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, don't. We shouldn't. When it gets around about the crowdfunding, the will eat us. Right, so you're going to want to share the insurance money when it comes through, then? Uh, no. After today? We think we're selfish anyway. Why prove them wrong? You and me, we're taking that money and we're having some fun with it. Yes! <laughs> How come the police know? They don't know everything. They took my fingerprints when I confessed about Peter. Just matched it to one on the database. You said he torched the car. We did. Clearly not well enough. So they've, they've linked that to the accident? No. Not yet, just... just the robbery. What have you told them? Billy, what have you told them? Nothing. I lied. Just like I've been this whole time. Sinead? Oh, in here. Hello. Hey, mate. You had a good day? I, I promise he's only been watching that for, like, ten minutes. I just need to get him out from under my feet while I do this. It's all right. Yeah, I've got some good news. Dev's taken over the chip, eh? And he's made me the manager. As well as the kebab shop? Yeah, he said I could do both. Right? I thought you'd be pleased. It's like you said. We'll need to cover the shortfall from Beth and Kirk's rent. I know, but with you working two jobs, we're hardly going to see you, are we? It's only down the road, so I'll be able to pop back for lunch and on my breaks. Mm. 
suppose. Oi, I said I was going to make it work, so I will. Mm. I made you my special bolognese. Oh, can you keep mine in the oven for me? I'm eating dead. What now? Yeah, I just came to tell you. He wants me to look around the premises with him, go over some plans. It's pretty exciting, actually. I shouldn't be any more than a couple of hours. Okay. Love you. Love you. I don't like bolognese. What do I say to Summer? You say nothing t till we talk this through t properly. So I keep lying. Yeah, you seem pretty good at that so far. Hey! Hiya. So what happened? Oh, it was uh, just a mistake. Mistaken identity. It kept you in a bed for a mistake. Yeah, yeah, they, they need to be sure, so they kept me waiting all day. It was pretty annoying, really. Yeah, just a bit. You sure everything's all right? Yeah, yeah, we're just a bit, um, just a bit frazzled. So I had to leave you with Daniel. Was he all right, hey? Well, hanging out with the nerd and a weird family, obviously, we had nothing in common. <laughs> you call him weird. It's not a criticism, weird is cool. And at least you two are talking to each other again. to make yourself feel better. You, you feel better having told me, hmm? If you want to leave now, then... No. I might go down for this. I know. And then so much she's gonna... Listen. I told you. I am not leaving either of you, ever. But even knowing what I did... Know what a hypocrite I am. Yeah, even then? <laughs> We're going to get through this. OK, together. Southgate's got next year's World Cup on his mind, so who will he play tomorrow night when England take on Brazil live on ITV at 7.30? Next, five celebrities on a magical mystery bus exploring some areas of the States that have legalised marijuana. It's new, gone to pot, American road trip. <laughs>